Preparations are foot to mark the 56th birthday of Basutu King. The Royal Village of Matsing has set up this Royal Archive and Museum for those with keen interest to learn about the history of Basutu Nation. This library contains a broad collection of rare to find books King Litsia II used to refer for his wisdom. The nice thing about all of this is that he wrote his speeches. So he would of course make reference to some of the sections depending on what subject he wanted to write on. 1960. Scholars and experts have come together to put the best of the literature sourced from all over the globe. We as the Royal Archives and Museum in Matsying have decided this year to launch a new initiative, an initiative whereby we want the ordinary Basotho to be able to express uh, their views, their wishes, the best wishes to His Majesty during this month uh, of July. The two leaders and neighbors, King Litsia III and South African Nelson Mandela, were born just hours apart and many celebrate their birthdays to draw inspiration and wisdom from them. And indeed, people who have, uh, who embody what Lesotho should be, what South Africa should be, what the Southern region should be, what Africa should be, people who believed in these two things, uh, the issues of peace, the issues of good leadership. Because when there's peace, uh, when there's good leadership, then prosperity will follow. The former South African president, Thabo Mbeki, awarded King Mshoshu II with the Order of the Supreme Companion of O.R. Tambo for Basutu having played a crucial supportive role during the apartheid era. Rapelang Khadebe, SABC News, Matzieng, Lesotho.